Welcome to Tarun's classroom friends. In today's class we are going to see about materials. Substances used to make objects are known as materials. For example, wood is a material used to make objects such as chairs and tables etc. And all the objects around us can be made using different materials. Now we are going to see about metals. Metals are used to make objects that are usually sturdy such as cutlery, coins, cards and jewelry. Now we are going to see about wood. Wood is, uh, is used to make objects such as toys, doors, furniture and cutlery. Even the, even the uh, paper that we use to write and draw is also made using wood. Now we are going to see about fabric. A fabric is a common name for materials such as cloth, curtains, bed sheets, and towels. Cotton, wool, and silk are a few examples of fabric. Now we are going to see about rubber. Rubber is used to make objects that are usually sturdy and can be also stretched, such as tires, erasers, and boots. Now we are going to see about plastic. Plastics are used to make a wide range of useful objects such as toys, cups, plates, water bottles and furniture can be made using plastic. Now we are going to see about clay. Clay is used to make objects such as ceramic vases, cutlery and pots and tiles for flooring. Now we are going to see about glass. Glass is used to make objects such as window pads, bottles, mirrors, laboratory bags such as test tubes, beakers and so many objects can be made using glass. Now we are going to see about the sources of materials. Materials came from four primary sources. They are plants, animals, earth and humans. Now we are going to see about plants. Many materials are obtained from plants such as Wood is obtained from trees and cotton is obtained from cotton plants. Now we are going to see about animals. Anim uh, uh, the anim uh, some, uh, some materials are obtained from animals such as wool is obtained from sheep and silk is obtained from silkworms. Earth. Some many materials are obtained by digging into the earth such as metals and clay. And now we are going to see about the humans. Many materials are made by humans in factories such as nylon and plastics. Now we are going to see about the properties of materials. Hard. Mater uh, materials that cannot be bent easily, bent or dented easily are said to be hard. For example, metals me such, as, such as gold, silver, iron and clay can be, uh, are said to be hard materials. Soft materials that cannot be bent, uh, bent easily or, or, or bent easily or dented easily are said to be soft. Soft. For example, wood and plastics are examples of soft materials. Rigid materials that cannot be bent easily are said to be rigid. For example, wood is an example of a rigid material. We can observe that wooden chairs do not bend easily. F flexible. Some uh, materials that can be bent easily without breaking are said to be flexible. For example, rubber bands and rubber hoses and thin metal wires can be are said to be flexible materials. Elastic. Materials that stress when pulled and and release and return to the original shape when released are said to be elastic. For example, rubber bands and balloons are said to be elastic materials. Now we are going to see about about uh, about absorbent materials that soak up liquids or allow them to pass through are said to be are said to be absorbent. Cotton fabric is an example of an absorbent material. Non-absorbent materials that do not soak up liquids or do not allow them to pass through are said to be non-absorbent. Plastic, nylon, clay, glass are examples of non-absorbent materials. Transparent materials through which we can see clearly are said to be transparent. 
glass and some types of plastics are examples of transparent materials. Opaque materials through which we cannot see clearly are said to be opaque. Materials such as wood, clay and, and uh, metal are examples of opaque materials. Hope you like it friends. Bye. See you in the next class.